You, what do you think you're doing? Curse it all. Your timing couldn't be more atrocious. Just make it quick, all right? Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Be careful out there. Here's the list. We've been scrapping together quick fixes to keep it running for months. I think it finally crapped out and needs a full overhaul. It's the goofy machine behind the counter in the corner next to the stove. I'd be much obliged if you could take a look at it and get it fixed up. I don't know. Try the various traders around the waist. Or the pawn shop on west side might have some parts. Oh. I've heard of a place called House Tools you could check out. It's an old factory on the north side of Vegas. Just a word of warning, though. I hear no one who goes in there comes back out. Could be traps, crazy robots, or who knows what's in that place. What can I do for you?
Howdy. Looking for Chow? Amazing. I thought that thing was done for. That'll help me transform what I can offer the troops. I'll give you a little extra discount the next time you buy food from me. Thanks again. Loyal found her file somewhere on the base, with magazine articles, photographs, a map even. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, that's over 300 years ago. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it. Except we haven't left Nellis in decades. Yes. In fact, that's exactly what Loyal has planned to do. You should go talk to him. I wish everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles. Or learn how to throw my voice. And it, and it is because, because of you that I am able to do so. We enjoy, enjoy our privileges because, because you take the greatest of risks, risks and are prepared to make the most noble sacrifices. And it's because, because men and women, women like Private First Class, class Jerry, Jerry Watson, Watson, that Nevada, Nevada and the, the new California, California Republic remain free. free. Yes, outsider. Really, outsider. I'm open to ideas. Hey, that's a great idea. This information might help with our training manuals and maybe create a few new apprentices for Loyal.
now if it isn't my ball, chain and dog collar rolled all into one. You powered the holograms up? Well, yeah, that's pretty good protection. Sure worked at the fountain, Vera kept the ghost people away. But uh, how do I know the power won't suddenly go out? And I don't know, this still sounds risky to me, for me. Well, yeah. You got a point. All right. Look, if the holograms are here to keep me company, then I don't mind staying here for a while. But listen, when this thing goes off, try and get into the Sierra Madre without me. You'll wish you hadn't. Yeah, yeah, so what? We got bigger problems with the holograms. No, uh, no, wait, you're right. The theater piped music and sound backstage, which means those little squealers are in the corridors back there too. likely trigger other security measures, if you hurt the vault at all. The builder of the casino built it to last. The Sierra Madre withstood the war. I'm sure the vault is protected as well. Besides, you wouldn't have followed the signal if you didn't want this place's secrets for your own. You're curious. Past the threats. The elevator? Then you'd be trapped for certain. No probability of escape. Even... Even if you damage the mechanism, there's a chance of repairing it. It might take years, but it's possible. Persist in threatening me or the Sierra Madre secrets. You're of no use to me. I'll set off your collar now. Huh. Clever. Whoever designed the Sierra Madre, their obsession with messing with frequencies and signals. I'm coming down. I'll meet you face to face at the vault entrance if you resist. I'll use the collar even if it puts the vault at risk. The ghosts aren't real? That changes everything! Why, I can save my computing power for other perceptual impossibilities. Please be my guest. The receptor is there, and the side-switching wobbly bob, just turn that. Good, good, better. Oh, oh, yes, that feels wonderful. This is even better than my afternoon Mentats break.
So you're saying it's the X2 array, not the antenna I should be examining. That was most likely my plan, yes. Let me check something. Of course, I have it. The override sequence to open the Forbidden Zone door is hidden in the schematics. Well, not hidden. It's actually right there, behind the programming equivalent of coffee stains. It's embedded in what seems to be recursive code. It's badly commented there and there. Oh, and no pointers. Very sloppy, Mobius. You see, using the antenna to boost the emitter's sonic frequency, and the stealth suit to bypass the Forbidden Zone lock, yes, that could work. Was that my plan? It must have been. Sometimes I truly surprise myself. The door is open, and now Mobius will get his.